In a glass box high above the ground, Yokota's air traffic controllers are hard at work day and night directing planes and ground vehicles where they need to go. With millions of dollars and people's lives depending on them, the stakes and the pressure are high. It can get stressful, the tempo's pretty high. However, if you think of it as you're just trying to keep people safe and keep things moving, you're just following all the rules as best you can. And you're never alone. You always have your, your wingman next to you helping you out. You also have supervisors who have way more experience watching your back. So as a team, we get it done. With an effective range of five miles, the controllers can't see everything in the sky, which is where the radar approach control, or RAPCON, comes in. In a basement far below the tower, the RAPCON sees approaching aircraft as tiny icons on a screen. You know, us younger guys would say it's like a video game, but it's more like a plan, you know, okay, I'm gonna put this person here. This guy's gonna do this turn, so I want him to follow this guy, make sure he had, this guy has him in sight, so make it get in a nice line, so a big racetrack, if you will. So make sure that everybody gets to the ground and up in the air, above each other, below each other, and make sure they all stay safe and keep them separated. The tower and RAPCON work together 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to ensure the safety of people in the air and on the ground and keep the mission going. Petty Officer Phil Stewart, Yokota Air Base, Japan.